Good, whatever it is, I'm Mentalis and welcome back to Space Engineers. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I should have known better, but really. Um, I'm not all that concerned. I am parked close by a writing station. The GPS point right there is just when I was close enough to see it. Um, these, on the other hand, are a problem. Um, being here actually isn't a bad spot because I get free resources to build this. Um, and this is the new ship I'm building. I've decided this ship up here isn't up to the task. It, it had a purpose. I feel like it kind of outlived that purpose. Um, basically, as soon as it was done, it wasn't really needed anymore. So, I think I'm probably going to be getting rid of that ship and turning its resources in to this one right here. So this one is going to take over as my my capital ship of sorts, I'm thinking. And so what I need mainly is I need a hangar. And right, I guess I died, so I should probably grab all my resources again. some interior plates if I could find where I put them 67 that's enough um, the assemblers aren't really doing anything right now for those wondering I actually decided to toss some speed mods on this because we were getting nowhere with our resources um, but this ship will take over we're going to finish it in the dry dock. I'm thinking I want to build something tall, like kind of slim. And that way it's hopefully a little bit harder to hit. But we'll see how it ends up. So, whoops. I will have to do some trimming on this too. So, I can give you a tour of the systems I have built so far. Let me just finish tossing down a few of these. That should get auto automatically ground down. I do have the, uh, the build and repair system set to grind before weld, as that way they will focus on taking out the enemy ships that come in. I've decided to use them offensively just to help protect a little bit. So, we're, we're only going to run off of two hydrogen tanks. They are redundantly plugged into the hydrogen thrusters here. More because I like the look than anything. As far as our ion thrusters go, I have put four in. And that's probably enough. Like, this ship doesn't have to be super speedy. But I do like the idea of having ion and hydrogen that I can kick on. These are the tier 3 thrusters. They're pretty easy for me to build at this point. And especially when I tear down that ship, I will have a lot, a lot of resources. Did I use... I don't remember if I used tier 3 or tier 4. And I only have my uh, basic tools, so... I use tier 4. Wow. Space suit detected. Eliminate. Yeah, they are definitely headed towards me. Um, let's go get it on a turret real quick. Because I want to get a view of that. And this one doesn't have the up and down range. Going up here isn't bad either because if we need to jump, this 
is our only jump capable ship right now. But our new carrier will be jump capable as well too. As far as Eden's Hope goes, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it or not. Uh, part of me says keep it. And another part says get rid of it. Um, keep it so I have more ships, but get rid of it because it's more a liability than a help. Or my these are my interior turrets. Huh. Gatling turret. Control. Oh. Um. Hmm. I'm not terribly worried about these, but at the same time, I don't think I can take them on. I like the outline of that ship, too. Might have to, to capture one of those. 2.1 kilometers away. And scan completed. They're not actually getting closer. You know what? We're we're just gonna do it. Because like I said, I don't think I can really take them on. I just think my shields might outlast them. But now that these ships aren't properly docked, I'm worried about losing the ships. So I mean our actually unnamed destroyer. I am gonna get rid of it. I think I'm gonna wait just because I do have a few guns on it for now. So I'll go back to this real quick. So um, part of the idea was just redundancy on everything and I actually like the look of the conveyor tubes like this. I feel like it looks sci-fi-y and this design is actually inspired by a Halo build I was looking at. So there are some elements of that. It's not going to be perfect but I do think I like kind of the general shape of that. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do Oh. Really? I just I can't lose them not even for a few seconds. Lay down this floor. Maybe we're going to rush the exterior a little bit because this thing is going to be armed to the teeth. And then it will have an internal ha hangar bay for the small ships. Um, one thing I, I recorded last episode, which w you'll never see because I had some technical difficulties, was Rasip's little fighter dry dock got totally annihilated. For some reason, whenever any ship would come in, it would just target that first thing. And so it didn't really stand much of a chance. Oh. Drop this off. And... Interior plates, so I'm going to need some of those as well, too. Production. So I keep these here just so I can remember what I need. We're going to need some more interior plates. These are the ammo for my guns. Uh, let's get some steel plates as well, too. Because why not? And we'll just go from there. 
I mean, I can order more things to be built, and now that I have the speed mods, those actually get built rather quickly. Kind of protect the interior a little bit. So this is light armor, the idea being actually that this is going to be a very shield dependent ship but I do plan on giving it some rather large shield generators to help make up for the light armor. Maybe I will make it shorter, just by a little bit, although I've already done that on the bottom. Hmm. So I think we're done with that. We're going to need some large reactors. And do they it's as far back as they're going to fit, which I think is okay. Oh, really? I can go further back? Okay. Yeah, we're going to push these all the way back then. Oh. Huh. The advantages of building in this dry dock are things are built pretty much instantly. We can change the color later. For now, let's just get it down. Okay, then these will be piped up. We'll probably do it through the sides of these, and then we'll connect like a cargo system in front of it. Private property, no trespassing. That signal is getting further away. Uh, part of me actually does kind of like this darker color just because I feel like it's space camouflage. For those of you wondering how I'm doing that, I am pressing the square brackets. Then we're going to leave some space. I'm just thinking like a block. trying to think what should I do from here so things I still need are I'm going to need assembler and refinery capacity and I'm gonna need jump drives so what if we go redundant jump drives in the middle and that gives me a block on either side. What would I call up and down on these things? I mean, I guess 
I would call them sitting up like this up and down, but I'm going to lay them down flat. Okay, so that would be I have no room. Let's go from above. If I can. Offset them just a little bit and let's build a bit of a spine just so I can see what I'm working with. Now, for now, this will give our, our dry dock jump ability. And then scroll wheel up, oh, right, they changed that. Scroll no longer will jump from one to the next given it changes the variation of the block instead. Huh. I swear I'm hearing turrets, but I'm sure I'm just going insane. Evenly and partially complete, I do want to protect the uh, jump drives a fair amount. So my thoughts from here are I'm going to go refinery down the side, maybe even a couple of refineries on each side. Finish it off with some assemblers and then a hangar deck will go up right above this. So we'll have bottom floor engineering, middle floor is hangar and crew quarters, top floor will be operations, I'm thinking which gives us three floors, and I think we're going to have more than enough room to do that. So, it's good placing. We need the refinery. We should have enough reactors. There we go, sorry caps lock was bothering me. And so, six. And I am going to stand these straight up. Uh, the reason being is actually I like the height of them. And so we'll kind of have them poking through into the next deck a bit. I can go, whoop. I can go. Behind them. I can place any modules I want, and I'll look at the build and repair system and see what parts I need for these. And the assemblers. Place them like that, and I'm going to let them poke through as well. And then that's roughly the plan for this deck. I mean, I still want oxygen capacity and that I'm up. Actually, I do have oxygen capacity because these are my oxygen generators and my tanks. 
um, I'm just going to need to spread a release of that throughout the ship. So that's the basis of my, of my engineering deck. Again, I want to cover these things up a little bit because they are shielded right now. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't put down a shield. And yeah, colors are all crazy, but that's okay. I will fix them later. Probably. this right about here and this will be the official start of the next deck which is my hangar deck sorry I like having things supported in multiple directions too not that it really matters but So hangar deck, um, oh I want some build and repair systems, but the hangar deck might not be a bad place to uh, put that, just because that's probably where it's going to be used the most, and it's the center of the ship. So I'm thinking if we split this into bays. So say this is one bay. Yep, for the back end. These don't need hangar doors. But maybe they'll have a a pad color difference. Actually I guess I should be going further back before I go forward. Let's try this real quick. So, like a 3x3 three three pad. Just with the space in the middle. if that means I'm out of steel plates if it's stopped building. Or not. So that's space for four ships. Oh, and I'm already over time. So I think we can see the general idea that I have starting to be laid out. Um, it's gonna need a bit of refining. It's clearly not perfect. There we go. So, hanger up top, probably go to some sort of a launch area out here. And Probably bring it narrower too. Maybe step it down slowly into our launch tube. And I'm not saying launch tube like Battlestar Galactica style, like you literally sit in this tube and get launched out into space. I just mean our uh, space runway of sorts. 
So let me know your thoughts on that, if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea. And what do you think of this ship? Um, I think I'm going to put our shield generators back here, centered around the hangar bay. And we'll get our, our stair system put in the back and probably in a, a few other places throughout the ship. But anyways, I'm Antelis. I'll catch you later.